I thought May was had tendered a resignation eh? from party and politics, but apparently that's not the case. May is, May is on leave and receiving pay. Troy Fraser. Want to persuade guy needs that they toughen corruption, right? You know what? Jack Yogan, do, 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 do. Till he present his diplomatic passport at um, JFK and he get revoked. He can do, 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 do. Right. He might not get Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora thanks you all in tell we we have to tune into the vice president press conference to know you see you all don't want to in. we happy to tune in on your behalf save you all the torture save you all the torment i thought may was had tendered a resignation eh? from party and politics but apparently that's not the case. May is, May is on leave and receiving pay. Troy Fraser. You wonder why May is smiling? May is still on the job, on leave and receiving pay. Now May pay alone as a PS. So May running the ministry from home. Right, may pay alone is somewhere around eight nine hundred thousand dollars plus benefits as a PS. I think you got security at your home, she might get your rent pay, she light bill, may this the driver. So, may earning about nine hundred thousand. Neil Harding said, Darn Lal, too. Still getting paid as a permanent secretary. This is the country we're living in. And these are the folks who wanna, wanna persuade Guyanese, the bar Jaglios of this world, wanna persuade Guyanese that they're tough on corruption. Right? You know what? Jagliogan, do, 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 do. Till he present his diplomatic passport at um, JFK and he get revoked. He can do, 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 do. Right. He might not get revoked. He won't even know how he end up in the orange suit. Heading off to Rikers. He won't even know when the rendition happened. Took a long Y'all condone bad behavior. That's why they can't find no contractor. Because they're in bed with the wrongdoing. That is why they can't find any contract. They're in bed with them. Doing all the nonsense and the foolishness. Troy Fraser. So May is on paid leave. May is on vacation. And every month, chiching. Chiching. Get him paid. Nice, nice, nice. Running the ministry from home. Gail Samuels, Esther Blue, Marlon Thomas. And the man can say this thing with a straight face. Oh, she's still on the job. Yes. Let's move on. Next. That is their interest. Protecting their own. Not protecting Guyanese. Protecting the damn lads of this world. The two sons of this world. The folks that do the most egregious things. 
They're the ones being protected. The most egregious. But he can do, do, do. Till he overdo. Good morning to the Honorable Her Excellency, the U.S. Ambassador Nicole Terrio. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> he can do, do, do. Over to you, Nicole. Your Excellency, over to you. Tracy Clark, good to have you in the light this morning. So they're protecting me, but I, I, I saw him almost throwing Priyana the bus yesterday. Priya, how is your back there? Bus right over Priya back, but three times. But you know Priya got broad back. Right? Priya got a broad back. But three times he drive the bus over Priya back. And this pit latrine story. The shitty situation, but just gotta make the best of it. Yeah, yeah, he called in the question, Priya's judgment. During this press conference yesterday on this latrine debacle. A debacle. <laughs> this latrine situation, he called in the question a judgment. Yeah, believe it or not. Starbuck News published a whole list of pet latrines in the, in the country. A big survey. Now, Priya Manikchen, I don't know why she has to do all survey of pet latrines. We have other serious things. The Demerara Distillers Limited power plant located at Diamond. East Bay Demerara was partially destroyed by fire on Friday. The fire reportedly started between 1630 and 1640. At the scene, firefighters battled the fire which they eventually got under control at the Diamond EBD complex. No injuries were reported and the company's staff was seen in the vicinity of the complex looking on. The Guyana Fire Service in a press release late Friday afternoon said that the firefighters were able to contain the fire. It was reported that a generator was on fire and upon arrival, firefighters discovered that chemical and fuel bonds, along with gas cylinders, were at risk, GFS stated in a ter statement. Additionally, DDL in a statement said that none of its other facilities or installations are under threat. A young woman's decision to listen to her father's advice to not perform a dilation and curatage procedure to remove her six-week-old fetus has proven to be a miraculous intervention. She said that while she was six weeks pregnant, a doctor recommended she visits the best sonographer commonly called an ultrasound specialist to confirm her pregnancy. A few minutes into my appointment, Dr. Name withheld said with much confidence to my husband and I that this baby is not alive, Rollins said before adding that the medical professional stared at the ultrasound machine screen for a few more minutes and reiterated that there was no sign of life. I was feeling a bit sad, but I called the person that I always call in these times, my dad. In a calm yet stern voice, he said, leave that baby alone. Rawlins recounted. Rawlins visited another doctor and he told them that there was nothing wrong and the fetus heartbeat was strong, showing proof of life. I am now in my third trimester preparing for baby's arrival. When Yahweh chooses you to live, who can dare say otherwise? There is a purpose for this baby's life. Rawlins said, the Diana Police Force has issued wanted bulletins for five individuals in connection with the abduction of Joshua David, known locally as Bricks. The incident occurred on September 27th on Main Street, Georgetown. Authorities are currently seeking the following suspects. Aaron Allen alias Katz. Last known address, West Ruinveld, Georgetown. Alpha Pool, age 28. Last known address, Lot 127, Dagwire Park. Wayne Barker, date of birth, the 11th of September 1990. Last known address, Lot G Norton Street, Lodge. Dwayne Griffith, date of birth, the 20th of September 1997. Last known address, Lot 68, William Street, Kitchen. Osafu Peters alias Sadis. Last known address, William Street, Kitty, Georgetown. Authorities are urging anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of these individuals to contact the police immediately. United States Oil Company, Conoco Phillips on Friday got a Trinidad court to approve the seizing of payments from the Caribbean country to Venezuela State Oil Company for a proposed offshore gas project between the two neighbors, Reuters reported. 
Hinoco Phillips has for years been seeking to recover money from Petróleos de Venezuela for expropriating its assets. PDVSA had paid Canoco about US $700 million through a settlement agreement but ceased payments in late 2019. Canoco has since attempted to enforce arbitration rulings against Venezuela and PDVSA, including a US $1.33 billion claim against PDVSA in Trinidad's High Court. It was reported that Judge Frank C. Passat said his decision to appoint a receiver was made as there is a risk that PDVSA will move assets from Trinidad's jurisdiction to avoid paying Canoco Phillips, and pointed to PDVSA's previous relocation of its European headquarters to Moscow. Canoco's lawyers told the court they had identified the specific PDVSA assets they were targeting. Sigurd Blas and Y State Senator Roxanne Passaud for being an apologist for the racist and corrupt PPP government of Diana rather than represent her Brooklyn constituents. The New York-based Caribbean Diana Institute for Democracy on Wednesday, September 25, 2024, lasted Brooklyn. New York State Senator Roxanne Passaud for making misleading statements about Diana at a breakfast attended by Guyanese President Arfan Ali. She represents the 19th Senatorial District in Brooklyn, which includes the following communities, Canarsi, Cypress Hills, East New York, Brownsville, Lindenwood, Ocean Hill, Starrett City, and portions of Howard Beach. CGID Director of Communications, Attorney at Law Richard Millington, called Prasad an embarrassment to her constituents, including Guyanese Americans, for claiming that all well in Diana. Prasad also alleged that the noise you hear about Diana, we found nothing of the sort, referring to her visit to Diana. CGID Communications Director said that Prasad's visit to Diana last year, where she publicly accepted gifts from PPP government officials was apparently geared to benefit her personally, rather than examine and seek evidence of complaints racism, racial discrimination and corruption. He suggested that the State Senate Ethics Committee should review any possible gifts and junkets the senator accepted from Diana government officials and ruling party members. Senator Passard has completely ignored the over 14 or extrajudicial killings by the PPP government. The UN in February called for an investigation of the killings. She has also ignored the government giving 90% of government contracts to their East Indian relatives and supporters, and that public expenditures disproportionately favor regions, towns and villages where the government's East Indian supporters dominate. The senator has ignored the government using the Guyana police force to indiscriminately bulldoze the homes of African Guyanese citizens in Mocha Arcadia under the presence that the homes were in the path of a then proposed new highway. The highway has now been built and the holes were not in its path. The government is now distributing the said disputed lands to its supporters. The government is also using the police force to criminalize and persecute their political opponents, including sending armed Diana police officers to New York to harass members of CGID and social media influencers in violation of US and international law. The FBI and an NYPD have launched investigations into the Guyanese government's transnational repression crimes against Guyanese in the US US who speak out against them. The Diana government has been framing their political enemies with crimes in Diana. The government has also been sending police and intelligence agents to spy on and harass Guyanese community leaders in her own hometown of Brooklyn. In her district in some instances, while Senator Prasad is cozying up to the said government and acting like an apologist and their lobbyist. It is a disgrace that sitting New York State Senator from Brooklyn cannot raise these facts with a foreign government that is targeting her own constituents, Millington noted. Millington added that at a time when New York City officials are under indictment for alleged cozy relationships with foreign governments and for accepting benefits from such corrupt governments, Senator Prasad is leaning in, indeed doubling down, and is acting like a lobbyist for the corrupt, racist PPP government of Diana. If Senator Prasad wants to be a hired lobbyist for the PPP government of Diana, she should resign and stop pretending to represent her constituents and take up a job with the government. Until then, she should stop betraying her constituents and examine the objective empirical evidence of racism and desist from her persistent campaign of convenient lies. Richard Millington, Esquire, Director of Communications, Caribbean Diana Institute for Democracy, September 25, 2024. Hey, 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 what am I doing the fucking mama? I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not
for you mr c the ultimate male supplement men's total wellness formula packed with essential nutrients for men's health she'll call you mr c Um, he was put on bail. How much? How much money were you put on bail, Ma? Bra, 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 Twenty thousand dollars bail. And what was the what was the um what was the reason for you to be put on bail? What it? Court. He had to go to court for what? Playing music. Playing music in church. For playing keyboard, bro. Ronald, can you please come? What did the officer say to you? I have to go to court because of playing music for, for church and giving God the praise and thanks. Yes, sir. And that, that's why they, they, they said that I get charged and I have to go to court for that. All right. Because they're, they're, Amen. The 18th, the 18th of November, I have to go to court. 